I got some new lights for the kitchen today. These are the Satco multi-purpose spotlights. I guess the model number is 77 395. I have these here right now. I only have three of these. I believe these came from the, the Home Depot and they were the Hampton Bay brand four or five years ago or whenever it was. I went back there looking for them and I couldn't find them anymore so I tried to find something comparable and this is what I came up with. I don't like these aesthetically as much as I like these. They're much more, you know, they're much more rounded and more aesthetically appealing to me. Uh, but these exist, so they have that going for them. I also think that these might be deep enough that the bulb will not stick out the top like it does on these, which is somewhat unpleasant. So I've got four, which I'm going to put along here. And then these two and this one over there will go over here to make three and I'll get rid of that ghetto thing. We don't have that anymore. So we'll have three on this side and four on this side. Eventually I want to install recessed cans up above the counter but I have to run a whole new um, electrical circuit for that because there would be so many it would have to be its own its own run and my my panel is is full so I can't do that right now until until I change the service but so for now which will be a while we're gonna do this and uh, it should work fine because it's, it's dark in here right now it's just not it's not this is a working here you need light and it's not bright enough I was going to put the um, incandescent in here allegedly the maximum is 60 but I mean, the the thing there is rated for 660 watts, and the cord can certainly take more than 60. So, I was going to put a 100 watt incandescent bulb in there, but then I uh, should I want to try to CFLs though instead because the thing is, it's like you'd have 400 watts there, 300 watts there. That's an 100 watt. So you have 800 watts plus the lamp, which is 900 watts just to light the kitchen like that it's kind of ridiculous um, so in applications like this where you have a lot of light bulbs then this is where the CFLs kind of become more appealing because that's only 23 watts so you're cutting it in in a quarter of the amount of power drawn so we'll see these fixtures have holes in the base to let the air move through. I don't know if these do or not. Let's see. Oh, they do. So maybe this will be okay. My concern is that the CFLs aren't going to last very long because they don't like to be in enclosed fixtures, but it's open. I mean, this is going to be pointing kind of, probably kind of like that. So most of the heat will go out the top and maybe it'll be fine. We'll give it a shot. If they seem to go out real quick, then I won't I won't use them and I'll switch back to to incandescent. But we'll, we'll see if we can use these. And they do sit down in there pretty deep, so um, that should be better. Yeah, that might be okay as far as the bulb's longevity goes. So let me put these up here and uh, I'll at least get this one side done, the left side, and then I'll come back on the video so we can see what it looks like. I put three of the fixtures up. This one has the 100 watt CFL and I hate it. This one has 100 watt incandescent and that one has 60 watt incandescent and for some reason all three of them are blurry. I don't understand why is it blurry. Okay, so the uh, CFL is just harsh and obnoxious. You can see the top of it out of the fixture, 
and it's very uncomfortable on the eye so that's not an option the 100 watt incandescent is a little bit harsh not anywhere as near as harsh as the CF not anywhere as near as harsh as the blurry CFL but it's still not oh my gosh this is ridiculous what is going on I don't know why I can't film this anyway so the 60 watt incandescent is completely pleasant to look at and I just noticed that these two fixtures had the 60 watt incandescent bulbs so even if I keep with the 60 watt incandescent bulbs it's still double the light that was there and if I find it's not bright enough then I'll just change it I'll just change it to 100 watt incandescent so I'll finish this up here and uh, and that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna put 60 watt incandescent for now okay I got everything put in place and uh, this is how I'm gonna keep it for now so we've got the 60 watt incandescent bulbs here and these are uh, these are 50 watts uh, par 20 floods so this is eating up a lot of power like this but I don't care because it's producing the light that I want that I find pleasant so uh, this this is much better much more reasonable than, than the way that it was this is actually pretty bright over here I'm impressed with this these really reflect off the ceiling nicely and light up the counter very well now look at the difference between it being on and off it's really dark with it off but it's it illuminates really nice uh, these are a little bit more soft over here the illumination isn't quite as good but you have this for the task light so you don't really need it to be as as harsh over here I could always swap out these with those uh, floods only problem is those these bulbs here these are getting very expensive um, and they're gonna start getting difficult to find whereas these uh, I have plenty of them and they're not as expensive so I don't know but uh, yeah this isn't what I want forever but for the time being this is a much more reasonable solution than what I had before it looks better actually it looks completely copacetic there's nothing uh, nothing looks wonky about this at all so it looks perfectly reasonable and it's much brighter